maybe if I have to choose one, it would be the time before this one. Now I came uh, with my family uh, and I got to play with my former teacher, Anna Tomachenko. There was a concert. We played Shostakovich duos uh, with piano. And that was very special because I had studied with her so many years, but I have only performed with her once before. And that was the other time, just two of us on stage. And that was, uh, that was a very special form for me. Mr. Pressler, who I met also here many years ago, but um, most of the musical encounters I had here were something really that also marked my life. I have some more or less normal rituals, but they also change with the age. You know, I had different rituals where I was a student and later and now. And I think um, I try to Sometimes I try to meditate, but also just simply try to be calm. And that is my most favorite ritual. It's uh, very easy for me to say it was Anna Sophie Mutter, uh, because my father used to bring a couple of recordings from Germany when he went on tour with his quartet. He only brought a couple of LPs. Uh, some jazz music and two or three classical and one of them was Mozart's concertos uh, with Anna Sophie Mutter. She was 13 years old when she recorded them with Karajan and Berliner Philharmonica and I, lis I listened to her every day. Uh, maybe that's also the reason why I really wanted to be violinist, so that was um, very clear. <laughs> Did I ever have to sneak out from the house? I didn't have to. I was lucky because um, I didn't have that situation when I had to hide myself, so I don't remember. <laughs> uh, I'm sure very early and don't even remember that moment, but I, you know, we all have to lie sometimes. <laughs> I think love is a very, very important part of our life. It's something it can be very painful and it can be exhausting, but I don't remember the moment where I have not been in love, actually. I was in Finland, in Helsinki, after I won um, second prize at the Sibelius competition. I was 16 years old and I started traveling a lot in Finland, giving concerts. French <laughs> because I really wanted to learn French when I was um, when I was student and it was so difficult but then I met my French husband and then I somehow made it in Verbier originally two yes I'm not crazy about chocolate, so I do eat dark chocolate time to time, but not that much. Oh, that was a really nice concert. I remember, um, I think we played, yeah, we played Schubert and Frank, and it was a very special moment. <laughs> okay, my dad is, um, you know, this is exactly what I feel about him. It's, it's really, I want to hug him all the time because he's the sweetest person I have around me. He's been my teacher, he's been my musical hero, he's been especially a very tender father. This was my first concert in the Philharmonie of Tbilisi. I think I'm four years old here and it was like a kids concert. I think I played the concerto by Zeitz or something like that. <laughs> Where did you get all these terrible pictures? <laughs> My childhood pictures. This is Odessa competition. I participated in 89. You know, I've already only done three competitions in my life. The last one was in, when I was 16 years old and I've never ever gone to any competition. And I'm, I'm so happy about it because that feeling of competing with others is, is, is not the greatest. <laughs>